and welcome to Rural Art Connection, the place where your boredom ends and creativity begins. Today I'm here to talk to you about the summer solstice as well as St. John the Baptist's feast day. They fall on June 24th this year respectively as well as my upcoming giveaway. So let's get started. We're going to give you three different solstice activities that you can do with your family or on your own. Number one, we got these really cute wood picture frames from the Dollar Tree. I decided that they would be perfect for my daughters to paint. I have acrylic paints, but you can use tempera, you can use watercolor, you can use finger paints. As long as you allow whatever kind of paint you're using time to soak into the wood grain of these picture frames, then you should be good. When you're done painting, you can either seal these with clear spray paint, a clear varnish, or Mod Podge. You can actually even use Elmer's glue in a thin layer because it will dry clear to create a protective layer for your picture frames. For the second set of projects, you're going to need some salt dough. This is the best recipe of salt dough that I've found. You're going to need all-purpose flour, one cup, salt, one cup, and water, uh, approximately half a cup or less. I am using moon water, but you can use holy water or any kind of special water because that's what John the Baptist is all about. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click subscribe and don't forget to ring the notification bell. By clicking this bell, it lets you be informed as soon as I post new content, especially if I do giveaways. That way you can be one of the first ones in the comments for the giveaway. After you get your salt dough rolled out to about a half an inch thickness, then you can take cookie cutters and start cutting out your shapes. You can also cut out your shapes using a knife if you don't have a cookie cutter. You can also print out pictures, cut them out and trace them with a knife, a toothpick, or even a chopstick. I am going to make a moon phase hanging decoration. I'm also making a sun incense burner or incense holder. You could create a lamb hanging decoration to represent John the Baptist. 
the sun for the summer solstice. You can also create stars and flowers that represents summer to you. Summer Solstice 2020 is upon us and it's time to celebrate as much as possible with social distancing restrictions in place. Many people around the world are going to be celebrating the longest day of the year. From then on, the summer solstice is the longest day of the year. From then on, the days will start to draw in until the winter solstice on December 21st, which is the shortest day of the year. While some celebrate the summer solstice as Midsummer's Day or Midsummer on June 24th, as it was merged with the Christian festival of St. John's Day or John the Baptist's Feast Day. That would typically be when revelers gather at Stonehenge to watch the sun rise. Lytha, one of the festivals in the Wheel of the Year in modern paganism, is also celebrated at this time. Another term, altogether, was used for the summer solstice by the ancient Celts who were the predominant culture in Britain and Western Europe before the arrival of the Romans and then the Saxons. Celtic culture remained largely untouched in Ireland and parts of Wales, Scotland, and Cornwall until the arrival of Christianity. It's said that the Celtic Druids referred to the summer solstice as Albine Hefin, which means the light of summer. This was seen as a time of change and new beginnings. It was halfway through the growing season, so Celts performed rituals to try to guarantee a good harvest. According to Irish tourism site Vagabond, in order to banish any evil spirits that might harm their crops, the Celts would light bonfires where they would sing and dance and feast, and was also customary for lovers to clasp hands and jump over bonfires. This was thought to bring luck to their relationship, and some believed this the higher the lovers could jump, the higher their crops would grow. It's said that old European cultures lit bonfires and rolled burning wheels down into rivers. The wheels represented the sun and it probably symbolizes the point at which the length of the day reached a turning point. After solstice, daylight begins to reduce as we start the downhill journey towards winter. Cutting in on the information really quick to just say that you need to bake your salt dough 100 degrees Celsius or 200 degrees Fahrenheit for approximately three hours. Keep an eye on them, check them every 30 minutes to make sure you don't burn them. These candles can be used instead to represent large bonfires of the ancient time. From all the research I've done, no matter what you are celebrating, let it be John the Baptist's Feast Day, Lytha, Midsummer, Gathering Day, or Solstice, all of the websites that I've read, which were about a dozen or so, all state that little mini bonfires slash campfires, cooking and feasting with your family, spending time with your family, spending time outdoors, enjoying herbal and floral teas, singing, dancing, cleaning your house, kind of doing a spring cleaning, but instead of spring summer cleaning, using flowers, sun symbols, butterflies, lambs, and bees or seashells in your decorating, using oranges to represent the sun, and just spending time outside with your family, which is basically what everybody wants to do during the summer anyways, is spend time outside in the sun with their family and with water if at all possible, which also ties in all of the traditions with all of these celebrations water and sun and nature and family were the biggest key factors for each one of these holidays, no matter your religious practice. I used to have two of these baskets, kind of like a basket plate. One of them got broken and I didn't want to throw it away, so we used it to decorate the front door. We took some of the salt dough stars, hot glued them to some twine, and hung it up on the door. This is the second activity finished up after the salt dough has been baked and painted. 
I hung up my moon phases, my sun, my rabbit on this mulberry branch that I sanded. It's a nice place for me to hang herbs and flowers to dry, as well as storing some jewelry that I don't wear very often. third project all finished up is my solar or sun inspired incense burner. It's perfect for my stovetop. It can hold more than one stick of incense if I choose. If I want to use cone incense then I can just put it on the flat part on the top. I really like how it turned out. So after these three uh, comment down below which one you like the best and which ones that you want to try at home. Thank you all for watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. It means the world to me. Next couple videos is going to be my giveaway, so stay tuned, and I will see you in the next one.